Just want to start this episode off by uh, giving you a quick reminder. Uh, this month's PlayStation, the official magazine, with the new uh, Tomb Raider on the front, has a special feature on page 19, featuring yours truly, and Lost Perception, and our Hold project, up. Black Materia. Make sure you check that out. Now, now we can start the show. You know, Sonic commercials, they, they talk about what's in the Sonic, and then they stop it and go like, Psh. I was thinking about doing that, but nah. let me fully explain what happened at school. I never I never told this story, but uh, two weeks ago, I put in my two weeks notice, maybe a little more than two weeks ago. I was My plan was to work through the entire next two weeks and then quit after the break, so I could, you know, just create a little bit of a clean break situation. Um, but last week, man, on Monday after school, uh, some stuff went down, uh, basically the school told me that I violated some procedures, and therefore they canceled out my entire, my resignation letter, they canceled it out, and then fired me, terminated me, effective last Monday. So, I tried to quit. This is the ironic craziness about it, is that I tried to quit, and I was fired before I could actually quit, which is, <laughs> it's pretty crazy when I think about it. To me, man, it sounded like some BS, some very spiteful, kind of childish BS, you know, because I didn't do anything wrong. At least not something that couldn't have been talked to me about. I think it was just like, oh, they know where I'm quitting, so they decided to kind of get me. Let me get my food. Hi, my name's Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. You're on skates. All right. Wait, she's on skates. I think I was supposed to tip when you're on skates. Dang it. Next time. Cause I done waited way too long, flow way too strong And watch rappers fold like they right, flew jaws A beat shed, my peep said, beast of the east said A deep class of policy Here to make the industry a memory Enemy of the state, the stakes of rhythm Relate the rhythms I bang on the system The slang I be spitting got the critics wondering what's wrong with it Just cause I chose has already broken the shock mount This sounds like a good sign for a great session you know, as a professional engineer, I'd appreciate you not putting this part on the... Uh... Oh, don't worry. I'll edit this out. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> You're so full of lies. Let's get a little bit of an introduction of what we're working with here, Storyville. Okay, well, basically, uh, I came out to Arizona from Philly to do some work with Ran, who's the bomb diggity, definitely <laughs> worth traveling across the country for. So, uh, yeah, basically we're in a, you remember Holly from, from the song Push. She, yes. She did the backup vocals and played the, the strings. Um, we're here at Holly's, coffee. at Holly's place and uh, hooked up a little outboard preamp that I rented from, uh, what was the name of that studio? Porcupine Studio. Porcupine Studio in Chandler, Arizona. Shout out to John, the head engineer there. He was very cool, hooked us up with some equipment. Um, this is a boutique preamp case here. It's got six different ends. Um, I've actually never worked with this. It's uh, old audio or something like that. I've never heard of it before, but it's. John said it was very API-ish in sound, and he wasn't lying. It sounds really good, actually. <laughs> Um, so you never know. You find wonders in even the strangest packages. And then this microphone is one of my favorite mics. It's uh, it's very inexpensive, but it's very good. There's there's basically two lines of microphones that I trust in the lower price range. Audio Technica and JJ Audio. Those are the only two where you can get a microphone for under 500 bucks that'll sound great. Um, this is an Audio Technica 4033A. It's probably the best in their series, even though everybody loves the 4050. This is the secret weapon. So that's what we're working with. And now that I've gone through that, you can forget the part where I broke the shock now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. 
It's a typical Sunday night and I can't sleep Thinking about the coming week and all the promises that I can't keep Cause there ain't enough seconds in a minute, minutes in the hour I was in a day for work when I wanna play My lady thinking I don't show her respect But she don't know that I got games I haven't opened up yet Now that's love, every Thursday I'm cooped in a packed club Praying this ain't the day that one of them act up And throw a bottle on stage, rolling under my foot Causing a fall, caught on tape that gets hundreds of looks on YouTube Got screws loose, running like second hands Then I get home and realize I didn't do my lesson plans Everyone envies the life of Mega Fran. It's not all good, but I count my blessings, fam. Cause it's hard to find a job, let alone one you wanna do. I hit the daily double and it came up on two. Three if you count a loyal significant other. This didn't seem half as hard when I live with my mother. But I got tired of hearing it go on and get serious. Now I'll be flowing like regular periods. Growing as a lyricist in my success in this, yes, I learned so much. So I guess it's time to grow up. Back in my lunch, Doritos and cold cuts. One more pay cut and I'm out. Time to wake up. So hear that on playback. So, what we're about to do now is film the second part of our video Wednesday. Um, myself, Mr. Miranda, Derek, and Maria. We're in here, we're trying to set the, the mood. You get some behind the music type stuff right now. Um, this, this stuff is top secret. For the actual video this week. You'll see, it's gonna be crazy. So for now, we just gotta set the food. We'll put the paper down the door, creating an office where stackers like us feel comfortable. So, this is basically the type of environment that we're gonna bring in. Say hi to everybody. What up? Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're crazy. Oh, for the name of art. Yeah. Extreme. Set up for me. Uh, these are the behind this, the is, this isn't this isn't green screen. <laughs> yeah. He's risking his no life. Green screen screen. For this time. I'm totally risking my life right now. Yeah, we're just we're just soldiers. There's no stunt people either. No stunts. No stunt. We're like Jackie Chan, we do our own stuff. Yeah, so it's been a grueling time. We've been landing roads, um, <laughs> gravel, you know, rocks, dirt, you name it. All types of bugs are probably crawling all over me. Me and my buddy Teddy here. It's hey, Teddy, Jam. Teddy Riley right here. We've been getting a lot of. Um, we will give you a world premiere on Life After Lesson Plans as soon as it's done. So absolutely, stay tuned. Till next time. Peace. What up? We're back inside of Samurai Comics. Uh, I remember last time I came, it was pretty empty and dead, but uh, now there's some life in there, as you can see. As you can see. See that there's a lot going on right now. Over here we have some comic artists sketching, doing some, some free commissions. Probably not free, but commissions. I uh, picked up a couple of free joints. Um, Invincible, I don't even know what that is, but it's free. I heard that. Green Lantern. Since there's a movie about to come out soon, I might as well start getting into that. Uh, Spider-Man, one of my favorites. This is a brochure for the Phoenix Comic Con. I'm actually going to be playing at the Phoenix Comic Con. Uh, let me just show you some of the big names that are going to be there. It's going to be crazy. You got Leonard Nimoy, Stan Lee, Tom McFarlane, who he may spawn. You got George Takai, Billy D. Williams. You got Will Wheaton, David Peterson. Vic Mignogna, I mean, it's just Ernie Hudson, come on, Elvira, you remember Elvira, right? Remember the Saturday Night Dead joint, and she used to come, you know, with the, the cleavage. And I never watched Saturday Night Live. After Saturday Night Live, there was a show called Saturday Night Dead, and she used to host it. But anyway, Elvira, not really sure why she's famous, but whatever. So, it's going to be crazy. I think, in fact, oh, shucks. In fact, let me turn to the music page. And let's see what it says here. Mega Ram. Whoa, 
snap. Look at that. It's me. This part's a little off though, but it says 8-Bit Hip Hop King of AZ with the smash single Splash Girl. Splash Girl? Not quite, but hey, I mean, I'm in the brochure. I think that's pretty dope. So yeah, I will see y'all in a couple weeks at this. Okay, as I was leaving, I ran into Jeff, one of the Arizona Ghostbusters. So I figured I needed to get some a couple of questions in about the ghost busting profession and how long we get into it. So, Jeff, how long have you been busting ghosts? Uh, five years. Five years, all in Arizona? Yep. Now, are there other, you know, like regional sections of the Ghostbusters? Do they have like a California Ghostbusters? Yeah, there's actually four or five in California. There's Indiana Ghostbusters. Indiana. Four or five in Texas. Four or five in Florida, New York. It's Philadelphia ones too, right? Yep, Philadelphia, Ohio, Kentucky. Arkansas, Louisiana, wow. everybody, almost wow. every state, Germany, there's, Italy. Well, there's ghosts everywhere, so you gotta you gotta bust them off. Yep. So is there like a national Ghostbusters Association that makes sure that all the Ghostbusters are, do, are doing the right thing? No, we're kind of working towards that. There's a website called ghostbustersunited.com that has almost all the teams listed on it. I got on there. Say that again. Ghostbustersunited.com. Nice. So make sure I, almost yeah. all the Ghostbusters teams are on it. Very nice, very nice. All right, one quick question. Who gets to drive the Ghostbusters mobile? The owner? Our founder. <laughs> right ah, uh, yeah, we, I think we got a shot of his butt. Yeah, he's been there now. But, um, <laughs> so no one else drives it? You guys just drive, you know, your, your normal vehicles? Or? Yeah, we all, we all ride in it, though, and it's, it's very surrealistic. Nice, yeah, this, this is really it's cool. a great reaction on the road. Oh, Almost passes his way. Almost. <laughs> I'm sure people are out their windows trying to get pictures of it all the time. Driving. Yeah, while driving. <laughs> As if people don't drive badly enough out here. But um, so proton packs and all in the back. I think I see that there. Yep. All right. Excellent. One quick question before I go. Where is Slimer? Does he does he run with a particular faction of the Ghostbusters or? I think he's independent contractor. He's independent. All right. Well, we'll feed up the three <laughs> Yeah, wherever it is. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Is there, I know they're talking about a Ghostbusters movie, like a new one or something, right? Yeah, well, they've been talking about it for about 20 years now. That, so that's true, that's true. We're going to keep talking about I was wondering if they're going to do anything where they, like, involve the, you know, the, the independent Ghostbusters. There's been talks of it. I know the whole plot, no matter what of the third movie is, they'll bring in more. Nice. All of our current guys, except for Kutcher, are on wheelchairs. Words from the Ghostbusters. Um, I'm Mega Ran, and I think we're gonna get on out of here. Got my books I'm ready to go. Who are you gonna call? Mega Ran. Hidden house on the other side, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, ready for a Writers Guild show. This week has been like by far the worst week in like the short history of the Writers Guild because we haven't been able to get a, get any type of thing that's like really organized. We haven't had any rehearsals, no practice, no new songs. It's kind of not really a whole lot of progress. But the show must go on. We're gonna see how it goes. Are you guys out there having a good time? Yeah. All right. How y'all doing? My name is Random. I am uh, here representing a collective, I don't want to call it a super group, but a collective of MCs, poets, creators, and just all around good people called the Writers Guild. So what you're going to experience today is a little bit different than what you've experienced in the past. And we want to make sure of that. That show. I can't speak for everybody there, but you know what? I can. I was highly disappointed with the show. I thought the show sucked overall. I'm glad that the footage was too dark to show you because it just really wasn't that impressive. I mean, we're tripping all over each other. Nobody was backing each up, each other up on vocals. It was just not, not a great show. We got some work to do. I mean, if we're gonna be a group and we're gonna represent each other as well as ourselves individually then we gotta do better come on y'all yeah. we're gonna see 
even a day. Alright, check it out. Yes, yes, yeah. Get your hands up high. We get them high. Get them high. Get them high. Yeah. Get your hands up high. We get them high. We get them high. Get them high. Yo, if I rule the world and everything in it, sky's the limit. World peace, no doubt. Get down to business.